Well, it's nice. now time to talk about books. And if you're still thinking of a unique Christmas gift in this final week before Christmas, we have an idea for you uh, that will inspire not just you, but the person that you give this gift to. You might want to buy two, one for yourself and one for the other. Author Veronica Fox is joining us now. She is the author of Thank You, God, for Not Answering My Prayer. Um, a, uh, a life story in a sense, but an inspiring story that can really impact, I think, anybody in their area of life. Veronica, tell me a little bit about what inspired you to write this book. Well, it's a story that's very unique, and I've had a lot of people in my life say, you should write that down. That would, that would be a nice, um, feel-good, happy story, but also a very real story about pain and hurt and anger and um, betrayal just a lot of things that happen in so many of our lives. And um, so I had the opportunity just to write it all down. And so what, what is this story about? Give us a little synopsis. Um, it's about my son and I, um, he's special needs. Um, he came into my life very differently. I was his babysitter and um, his birth mom just kind of abandoned him. And um, at the, I was single and I was just starting my real estate career and I wasn't prepared. I didn't want this. Um, I didn't want this. Mm. It wasn't what I had planned for my life. I knew I could be very successful. Didn't have anything holding me back, and so I just was not prepared for this. And then, in addition to um, having this happen, I found out he had a lot of issues that I wasn't aware of, and so that put another glitch in mm -hmm. my life that I had planned, and um, it caused me to be very angry at times. Caused me to question God. I was trying to be someone. I uh, had felt like nothing most of my life, and I wanted to rise above that and be better. And this was getting in my way. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't what I wanted to happen. And so it caused me to be very angry for a while. And um, he was a very difficult child, being withdrawing from drugs and a lot of issues. Um, and um, it was about, it was almost four years between the time when he um, came to live with me from the time I adopted him. And I just, I learned about love, unconditional love. And I fell in love with him and I felt um, that we were supposed to be together. And it was difficult, it was very, very hard. So the title is, Thank You God for Not Answering My Prayer and listening to that little snippet of your story. I imagine at the beginning you were praying, God, take this away. God, Absolutely. this is not what I want yet. He didn't answer that prayer because he saw a much bigger picture, which you now can look back and see as well. Absolutely. And I'm grateful every day, I thank God, because I wouldn't be who I am. I wouldn't be the person that um, I'm, I'm now finding myself um, in a much better point in my life than I ever could have imagined without him. Um, I'm stronger. I'm confident. I know that I can do anything. I overcame this. I can do anything. And um, that's why I wanted to write this book, because I wanted to encourage other people. There are so many people that are destitute and distraught and in pain, and they hurt, and they feel there's no hope. They feel there's no way out. And I want them to know, um, as I was always told, a poor white trash girl, um, you don't have to stay there. Mm. You don't have to have that mentality. You don't have to be that person. You can rise above that, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard. But with God, absolutely. With God, it's possible. Absolutely. Uh, you wrote you wrote a lot of inspiring things in this book, but there's a couple paragraphs that really really hit me because not only was the, this impact you, I think this could impact anybody in situations in our lives. This was the point where I think your son was may have been going through the drug withdrawals. He was just crying. He was screaming. Yes. He just wouldn't stop. Mm -hmm. And uh, you said. You, you, you finally, you, you, you were giving it all to God. You were saying, you know what, you've given me this situation. I'd love this boy. I don't know what to do with this. And then you heard God and you wrote, it was not out loud, but quiet in my spirit. It seemed as though he was tired of my whining. God being the one tired of mm -hmm. my whining. He let me know it was time to accept this, to pull myself together and deal with it. He had given me all I needed to handle this situation and I could make things better. It was time to end the pity party and do this. I needed to pick myself up by the bootstraps and get to it. I knew he was right, even though I didn't want to admit it at that moment. And that seemed to be like a turning point. It was. Once you truly gave it to God and realized this boy is in my life for a reason, mm -hmm. things started to change. They did. Inside of me. 
And when, when you change inside, then your whole world is different. Then you start seeing things differently. And I had tried avenues. I had tried to get people to adopt him. I had tried to have families um, take him for a little while and see if he would fit in their lives. And none of it worked, nothing. And um, I couldn't just take him to children's services and drop him off, which was a recommendation. I couldn't. Yeah. I just couldn't. And then um, it, it was interesting at that point that you just read, um, God knew when I gave it over to him, it, it was like my son, the withdrawal was over mm. and he became this beautiful little boy. It, it was amazing. It, it was like right there. Um, it was different. It all changed. And that's when I started falling in love. Mm -hmm. He just, he's beautiful. He's a beautiful child. And um, it was just then I knew I got to have this boy. He's, he's, he's going to make me better. Somehow we're going to do this. We're going to do this. <laughs> Don't know how, but we're going to do this. So he's 23 years old now. He is. And you look back, it hasn't been an easy road. No. There's been more hiccups along the way, but could you look back? Could you see your life without him? I couldn't. I just couldn't. Um, it's been a long, long road, but I don't know where I'd be. I don't. I wouldn't have this book, obviously, and I wouldn't have this opportunity to share with people that you're going to hurt, and you may hurt because somebody else messed up, and it's it, it's going to be really bad, and you're going to hate it, and you're going to fight it, but um, if you trust God, you'll get through it. Mm -hmm. It's it. It may not be easy, but um, it's like the Bible says, it's a race, and you're gonna you're gonna you know sweat and cry and, and yeah. um, be exhausted mentally and emotionally and physically, but um, it, it, the end will be worth it. And like you said, our story's not over. I don't know what all's ahead for us, but I know it's going to be okay. Mm. Um, I wouldn't change anything. I learned a lot. I would have done things differently had I known, but it was still meant to be and I'm okay with that. It's all, it's all good. God was with you along the entire way. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, Maybe you have a situation in your life where you're thinking, this is not what I asked for, this is not what I want, this was just handed to me, this was not part of my plan, but was it part of God's plan? Did God have a way to uh, put things into your life knowing it would mold you, it would bend you, it would put you at His feet saying, God, I can't do this without you? As Veronica can testify when you do that, God can show you things that you never, ever could have expected in your own life. I encourage you to get your own copy of this book. Thank you, God, for not answering my prayer. You can find it at her website, veronicabfox.com. It's also available at amazon.com and all of the Lima Read More Hallmark stores. Thank you so much, Veronica, for thank joining you. us on Faith and Friends. Thank you. And thank you for sharing your story and of course. being faithful to God and saying yes to God. Thank you.